everybody. I forgot that today was the 30th and all about the Christmas 365 collab. But since we did the snowflakes last week, I thought I would just make another one up, which I wanted to do anyway, and show you guys a little bit, a little bit of it. Uh, we are in Atmosphere River number three. There's more flooding in the Sumas Prairie, like before the Huntington Village that's near the border, uh, Castle Fun Park that's near the Whatcom Road exit. The highway's closed. It's not too bad. There's flooding here and there, but uh, um, some army guys put this tiger dam or something they call it across across it so it diverts one way, not the other way, so you can't go on Highway 1 at all. It's closed. Other roads around are closed as precautionary measures or essential traffic only. So far, so good. It doesn't seem to be as horrendous as the first round of flooding two weeks ago, but... We could get another 100 millimeters today of, of rain, and we also got some more on Saturday with a shorter atmospheric river. So, kind of what happened two weeks ago, but not quite as bad so far. I will do my best to give you an update on Friday if I can, because this is going to continue over Wednesday, and then Thursday is supposed to be dry and sunny, and Friday is dry and cloudy, and then we may get more rain on Saturday, but then it's also supposed to be cooler, so there's not as much chance of the snow melt, and da 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 So, here's the video with the little snowman. It's pretty quick, and also there's your update of kind of what's going on right now. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Oops, sorry, I just bumped my camera. This is tricky to do. I made this little snowman. Snow lady, I think. She looks more girly. Last weekend. My mum and my daughter and I got together and did them. So I have pictures of my mums and my daughters. And I'll show you those too. If you go through YouTube and look up sock snowmen, there's loads of tutorials. Almost any one of them will work. I've watched a bunch and kind of cobbled it together myself. You need one of these sports socks. Some people use the ribby part, some people use the flat. I like the flat better. Just cut it across at the heel, and then you fill it this way. You you can save this if you want, but I just got rid of it. Fill it up with rice. So they, they look sort of like that. Now, at the very top, you can't see it, but I put an elastic just to hold it together so the rice wouldn't come out, and then I took some white embroidery floss and went around it a bunch of times to hold it. And that is what I did underneath the scarf. So I took white embroidery floss and went around and around a few times and tightened it up. Don't make it too tight or you have a bobble head. So just make it just tight enough. To make the hat and the scarf, you need some sort of fuzzy sock, like so. Again, cut it across at the heel. Voila, you have a hat. For this little one and for the other one, I folded the brim up twice. And it gets a bit raggedy. See, I've got to actually trim that there. There's a little bit of, like, extra fluff comes out of them from these fuzzy socks. So just give it a little haircut. And then decorate however you want to. I've also taken my Fabrifix glue and glued the brim together here. And I also glued it to the back of the head back here. You can use hot glue, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you stick it down. Anything you want for eyes. I happen to have Google Eyes, so that's what I used. And because... Sorry, I'm going to one little back. I want to make them sort of semi-matching because the socks are similar, so I'm going to use those same snowflakes, but I'm going to put them over here on this, and I made their scars different. I don't have any more of these little bitty snowflakes, so I'm going to use one instead. So it won't be quite the same, but close enough. And for the scarf part, <coughs> sorry, the other sock, you can either just open it up and sew two bits together, but what I did was... Cut it, like open the sock up all the way so it's the long way and cut it about an inch and a half to two inches wide, just so it's wide enough. And basically, because it's str it's stretchy, you just kind of tie it tightly around the the neck of the, of the snowman. My mom did hers, and she actually made it bigger and she just sort of tacked it down so it's it's actually sitting on here. And she made the, the um, hat with the open piece of sock, and she left it really long, so it's almost like a stocking cap hanging down. It looks really cute. It's just whatever you want to do. So I'm actually going to get the hot glue out and use for this, because this is sort of a metallic plasticky stuff, and I don't think the fabric fix glue will work, so I'm just going to hot glue it middle of the tummy. For the nose, about a half an inch piece of orange chenille stem, and when we did them before, 
take your thumbnail, kind of shove it into the rice a little bit, so you make an indent, kinda, and then stick it glue on the end and go right and ram it in there and hold it till it sets. And that's pretty much how you get the nose on. It's not rocket science. So I'll do that and come back.